All right, guys. We learned how to add positive and negative integers without using a number line. This time, we're going to learn how to subtract. Okay? So, the number sentence I have, the subtraction problem, states negative 4 minus 6. And we need to find out what that is. So I have my negative 4, my 4 numbers in my negative zone. And I'm going to take away 6, positive 6. But I don't have any numbers in my positive zone to take away. Now, what I told you before is, anytime we have 1 in the positive and the negative, they cancel each other out and equal 0. Okay, so because if I move one step forward, then one step backwards, I'm right where I was. So I can put some more in my positive zone if I put the same amount in my negative zone. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Since I need to take away 6, I'm going to put 6 in my positive zone. Here they are. Bam, right there. But, if I put 6 in the positive zone, I don't have 4 in anymore. I have to put the same amount in my negative zone. And here they come. So since I put the same amount in my positive zone as my negative zone, these groups just equal 0. And I still have 4 more in the negative zone. Okay, now I have enough where I can subtract 6 from my positive zone. So I'm going to do that. Come to my positive and I'm going to take 6 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I took away 6 from my positive zone because it says minus 6. So I subtracted those 6. Now, how many do I have left? Well, they're all in the negative zone. And let's count and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So my answer is negative 10. Okay, if I don't want to draw the pictures, I know that negative 4 and negative 6, we put them together, and it's a negative 10. Now, I want to do things a little differently. I want to move these out of the way, and I want, to, I want to put a negative in a different place and see what happens. What if I said negative 4 minus negative 6? Let's bring that in. Okay. So I have my negative 4, and it says I need to subtract um, a negative 6. Well, I don't have a negative 6 in here. Hmm. Well, what I need to do is I need to make sure I have a negative 6. So I'm going to bring, since I have 4, I'm going to bring 1. Oops. I'm going to bring 1 over here and another. So now I have six in my negative. But since I brought two extras into the negative zone, I need to bring two more into the positive zone. Okay, I need to bring two more. Into, since I brought two to the negative zone, I have to um, cancel it out by bringing two more in the positive zone. That way I stay with having four more in a negative four. Okay. So now I'm going to subtract or take away six of the negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to bring it right over here. And how many do I have left? I have one, two, a positive two left. Okay. So what you'll hear is when you are subtracting a negative, what you're doing is just adding to it. And really, that's what it is. If I have a negative 4 and I add 6, I'm going to get a positive 2. Now, I'm going to start with a positive number, and I'm going to subtract a negative, okay? So let's say I start out with a positive 3, 
and I'm going to subtract a negative 2. Like I told you, if you, have, if you subtract a negative number, you're basically just adding the number. So 3 minus a negative 2 is the same as 3 plus 2. And you know that would equal 5, but we're, I'm, I want to show, I want to prove that. So first, I'm going to put 3 in my positive zone, because I'm starting out with a positive 3. Now, I need to subtract the negative 2, but I don't have any in my negative zone. So I'm going to move the 2 into that negative zone. 1 and 2. And since I moved 2 into the negative zone, i got to move 2 more in the positive zone, because I have to keep it the same. Okay, remember, these two and these two cancel each other out, so I'm still starting with a positive 3. But now I have some numbers in my negative zone I can take away. I have a negative 2 right here that I need to subtract. So I subtract it because it says subtract a negative 2. Now how many do I have left? I have one, two, three, four, five in my positive zone. Five. Okay? And that was what we thought it was going to be beforehand. So, using my negative zone and positive zone, I showed you um, how we subtract negative numbers. Okay? So, um, you can also look at my other video that will show you how to use a number line to do it. But, just remember the rules, if you're going to subtract a neg number, uh -oh, I don't know why I did that, 